Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gothic 2, The Night of the Raven. In the last episode, we got another one of these wonderful stones that we need for Zardus, which would be... Uh, not Zardus, <laughs> Satyrus, of course. Where is it? I'm searching for the blue one for some reason. I'm not finding it! Did we forget it in the chest, I wonder? If we did so, then we better pick it up this time. I have the slight feeling we might have forgotten it. So let's get back inside. No. Oh, it was down there, all the way down there. Ah, there it is. The blue stone tablet. There we go. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I looted that chest last time. Would be a shame if I missed it and have make all the way back here. Anyway, as you can plainly see, we have a lot of strength right now, which is 90 to be exact. We're close to leveling up, which would give us another 5 points of strength. And honestly, for the time being, strength is probably the most important thing that we can have at this point. So, we're going to continue in leveling that stat up as much as we can. Now, seeing as we have three stone tablets, we only need one more from a nearby temple, and then another one from probably another of these ruins. So, two in total. Should be pretty easy to get, if we can make all these adventures without dying, that is. In the meantime, we're going to have a look behind this one here, just to make sure we're not missing anything. And without missing, I mean something important and not these plants for the time being. So, I think with all the strength that we have right now, we're pretty much equipped for the standard enemies that are going to appear in front of us. Should not be a big deal at all anymore. Even Shadow Beasts are going down in like 5 to 6 hits. Considering that we crit, that is, of course. But otherwise, I think we should be pretty well equipped for anything other than that. So, let's have a look to the right hand side here. Since that's one of the last zones that we haven't been to yet. Is there something I can pick up up there? I don't think so. Oh! Hello, swamp rat! Well, short-lived encounter for that one. If I recall correctly, there is also a skeleton up there. In that cave. So I'm not sure if I want to go there just yet. Could be a little bit dicey. On the other hand, we're gonna go kill Snappers first. Which makes much more fun. And then... We shall take a look at this uh, area here. I believe it should be a skeleton, right? Or two of them. Oh, oh god. These are not normal skeletons. These are skeleton warriors. Oh no, actually that's normal, a normal skeleton. Huh. Alright. Bring it on! Well, I guess they haven't been eating a lot of stuff. Whoa! Ow! That did hurt. Oh. I should definitely watch my health here. No! You skeleton scum! I shall have your head for this! Or your bones. Because, actually, a skull is not a bad thing to have sometimes. Like, oh look, at all the trophies of my enemies! Instead it's just a normal skeleton skull which you picked up randomly somewhere else. Would be a pretty neat way to make others frightened of you, I suppose. Not sure if it will always work, but it's at least worth a try, I suppose. 
But these skeletons are magical, so I assume anyone with a little bit of arcane knowledge would figure out that, well, this is this is just a normal magical skeleton skull and nothing from your enemies. Otherwise I would assume that heads really make more impression on others. Like freshly cut off heads for, from orcs, right there for just twenty ore. Hello. Mind if I drop by? Also, let's go this down this time around so we can uh, take care of these mantis things as well. Since we're already here, let's kill everything that stands in our way. Let's take care of these snappers. What's more? Nothing then take care of there. the skeletons inside. But this time around we shall be saving before we attempt this, because I'm not going to do this again. Smart, I know. Alright, let's see if we can get one of these instead of two. Should be possible. Come on, skeleton. Oh, there we go. It's all I wanted. All I ever wanted is you. Oh, the, don't tell me you're stuck now. Let's move back a little bit. Maybe he comes down to me now. Because I'm going to go into another angle here. Or maybe he doesn't care one bit. <sighs> the, oh, I heard something behind me, so I suppose he moved down. Yes, he did. The good thing about one-headed weapons is you're pretty much the fastest guy alive. The good thing about two-handed weapon is they hit a ton more. At least, if you have the right weapons. I believe the most normal one-handed weapons go up to 130, 140 damage, so... That you can get reasonably good. Yes! Gotcha, skeleton! I don't want to use the statue of Belaya, but I want to use this chest and see what's inside here. Let's see. A mandible, a few old coins, ooh, and a tablet of life energy. Three. That is something I'll be using right away. Fifteen hit points! Taken! Love it. Okay. So, this is that area cleared off. No trouble whatsoever. Now, I wonder... I think I'll be going off to the left-hand side here. For the moment. Just to make sure that I'm not overlooking anything. Awesome. Yeah, I'm hearing something. I wanted to say something is here. In this case, it was a snapper. All right. I'm going to show you something, which is invaluable later on. For now, it's not really much of an issue, but later on, it will be important to know, to know this location. Over here is a big, huge ass troll with a few harpies close by. And behind him is the tomb of Quahodron, the ghost that we need to talk to once we have collected all the stone tablets and some such. So this area will be important for you later. For the time being, we I don't think we can really kill the troll either. We might be able to if we really, really work hard, but 
I don't want to spend too much time trying to kill the troll if basically we need to do is like level up like two to three times and we should be okay. So yeah, we're not going to attack the troll just yet, but we are going to try and find more enemies because XP. Ooh, mushrooms. I'm liking that. Should be pretty close to leveling up our mana storage once more with those mushrooms, so hopefully that will happen pretty soon. Alright, anything else here? Oh, I think I actually know where I am now, which is also quite an improvement. This is the path to the pirates. Kind of, anyway. Well, I high up on the ground there, but if we go down further and jump down here and then move up here, we can go back to the pirate camp, which at this point we're not going to do just yet, because we want to make sure that we collect anything here, and then we are going to move back to where we came. Because when we go towards the pirate camp, there is only one location that we have to visit, and that's the library that's close by there. We already collected the key from the Orc Shaman, so we can go inside then whenever we want to. But seeing that there are enemies inside there that are quite tough, I would like to level at least one or twice. Oops, something's here. Hello, Black Goblin! Where did you come from? Came from behind the bushes! You could say he was planning an ambush! <laughs> uh, failed, however. Quite a bit. So, yeah, I want to level up like twice or thrice before I get to that point. If I can manage that, that is. And then we are going to go to the Great Library, because that's the point where we have to go. But for now, we'll be trying to kill some more monsters. Especially some monsters that don't require too much effort. Come here. Wonderful. Now, I don't believe there's much left here on this side. However, there is another side of the path we came from. Also want to collect the skin, whatever was lying up here. A troll hide, ooh. And the hide of a shadow skin. Uh shadow beast. A hide of a shadow skin, indeed. That's a satchel. And that's it. Alright. So we want to go to the crossroads. That split up last time around, where we went to the right hand side to fight the orcs. And you have to excuse me for a second because my heating is some kind of making a very weird noise. There we go. Good thing I have such a chair. Now, let's get in here and talk to one of the mages first so we can reset the camera angle. And then we go back to the valley. Alright. Now we've killed everything here other than the troll. And there's only one location left to explore. And I would advise you to have either a sprint potion or some snapper weed with you in order to make it across at a specific point. Because otherwise you will try that and you might fail very often, until you figure out, well, sprinting is the way to go. I've tried that myself quite a lot of times. I tried sprinting across the gap that we'll be facing soon, but it works sometimes, it doesn't sometimes. I'm not sure where the exact point is of when you have to jump and to make it across, so we're gonna do it the uh, sprinting way in order to move forward. 
You would say, what, what, what gap are you talking about? I will show you in a second what gap we're talking about. Because it's not too far off. I'm not entirely sure if there's any orcs there. I don't believe there are. If they are, they're going to die anyway. Because why not? Well, for now, that's just swamp rats. Oh, there could, there could be a demon here, though, if I remember right. Or a troll. No, it's a troll, I believe, actually. Yeah. Look up there, the fatty. Alright, you know what? We're gonna try and kill it. At least once we try. Ooh, 16 mushrooms. We're gonna eat those before we manage to kick the troll's ass. Hopefully, manage to kick the troll's ass, it is. Wow, I've... Wow, I've picked 301 healing plants. It's not a bad record. Alright. Mushrooms for the win. And now, let's face the troll up there. Hopefully it doesn't get fed too much. Come here. Guess I shouldn't have eaten my food before I've had these snappers. Also, I need to wash out to the gap on the other side. Uh, would you mind attacking? Thank you. I guess I'm going to die horribly now, though. So, expect nothing less than a smacking. Whoa! What? Actually? This is actually incredible damage. I did not expect that. Oh my god! This troll was smacked in the... Whoa! I did not expect that. I was expecting to... Wow. Okay. I'm going to uh, assume this was by chance. Because I was really not expecting that. Wow. So much for getting our asses handed to us. I guess it was the complete other way around. I really don't expect that we'd do so much damage towards him. Hmm. Well. Should be leveling up pretty soon, however. Oh, talking about that. There we go. That means Nothing five more plunder. strength for me. The more strength, the better. My goal, by the way, is to reach about 60% of one-handed combat without the ring equipped. So, once I have the ring equipped, we get up to 70 and get to a new fighter category, which is always nice to have. And 70% is around the, well, I would say maximum percentage I want to get to without investing too much into it. But we'll see how far we can get that. For the time being, um, we're not going to spend anything into that because I would like to increase my strength first and the combat skills second. There's something in there I want. Most certainly. Right, let's get that warrior out here. Yeah. Goblin massacre. Nothing there. Nothing to be had. Yeah, I there. don't want this one to be looted. I want the Nothing other ones, to actually. There we go. Nothing, Nothing there. to be had there. Right, one last chest to go before we go down to that gap I was imagining. a long lock. Okay. A silver necklace and a, f a fish. Okay. That's an interesting chest. What are we going to hide in there? Well, we could put down a silver necklace for 100 gold pieces and uh, the other item is something completely invaluable. Let's put down, what do you say, 
a fish. Yeah. Makes no sense at all, but it's invaluable, that's for sure. I'm not eating too much fish here, anyway. Oh, hello, meat bugs. Some more mantis down here, alright. Right, this is the gap, by the way, I was talking about. We cannot jump from this side over there. What is... Is that a, is that a golem? I think it is! I'm not sure how good my sword is against it, but let's see. It's doing all... Oh, it's doing actually perfectly against it. Ow! That's... Oh, that's not my death, actually. I was expecting that to be my death. That was my death, however. Well. I was hoping I can push him back towards the... Uh, the ramp there, or the rock, rather. Nothing there. Or I can do it like that and just let him sink to the bottom of the abyss, or whatever he goes back to. Now, I'm not sure if there's any more golems in here, so I'm just gonna draw the crossbow and see. Oh! Hello, zombies! I like zombies! They're so easy to kill now with my new sword. Anyone to the sides now? Oh, hello! Those are armored zombies. Doesn't do much in your favor, however. All things considered. Don't swing forward unless you know what you do, like that. Alright, let's go back a little bit. Oh, ow! There we go, now we've got them. There should be one more, or a few more. No, oh, just one. And good night, zombie! Well done. Now, I wonder what's inside these chests. One is probably filled with some very nice goodies. This one wasn't, although you can sell it, but I wouldn't count that as very, very high valuable goodies. Let's go for the side chests first. Sounds like a plan. Lots of silver stuff. Huh. Guess I have no use for that anyway at this point. Because they're all dead. Anything in the corners? Always checking these corners in the temples because normally there's something hidden there and you don't want to miss that. Oh, let's, let's put it like not normally but Sometimes there's stuff hidden there. And inside here, we have the purple stone tablet, as well as a two-handed combat one. Hmm. Times two. I like that quite a bit. So now we have four tablets, which would leave us with one to go, which would be in the great library down the canyon near the pirates. So that's the fifth one that we need to collect, however...